everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Tommy, the pro wrestling podcast. This episode is the AEW Hot Take with Tommy and Norbs, and I'm Britt, your moderator. So, it's Tea Time with Tommy, so let's have our... I don't have tea today, I have a glass of water uh, with lemon, but... Nice! Where's nice our glasses? And Pepsi. Take a, a, a Norbs Pepsi. has Pepsi, <laughs> yes. I have tea. The, the, only, the only choice for soft drinks out there, no Coke. No, no Coke. Hey, man. It's, it's no good, it's Pepsi. You can only drink Pepsi <laughs> if they sponsor us, Norbs. <laughs> oh well, the only hopefully way. in the future. <laughs> so first up for today we're talking about full gear that's happening on november 7th so tommy norbs tell me what you guys are most excited about for full gear oh uh, do, do you want me to start off norbs or go ahead man yeah okay uh so yes full gear amazing amazing thing i have to add guys about the elimination files between kenny omega and adam hangman page Man, that is going to be a blockbuster uh, event. Although, you know, but they're big names. At, at least they got that right. I rather, I wish I saw a John Moxley or MJF in it, but they, they got it right, guys. I think they got it right with these two in the finals. Epic people. I think both are future Hall of Famers. Uh, both had a tough time getting to the finals. Like, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, Kenny Omega, and I'm sure Norbs knows, and Britt, you know about this. Kenny Omega just destroyed Sonny Kiss in like 25 seconds. To win the first match, and then from then on, the man that he had to scrape past, I was Pentaco L. Firo. Is that did I even do his whole name right? Pentaco, yeah. Pe oh my god, I can't even say his yeah. name, but yeah, mine. He had to go through that guy, and Paige yes. literally had to barely breathe to get past Wardlow. Both well deserving eliminator match, and to also be quick, I cannot wait for MJF versus Chris Jericho. Man, guys, that is I think the main event. Two of the greatest mic skills in the world are now going. Well, I think, no, sorry. My, 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 forgive me, John Moxley, you are in there as well. But like, man, these two guys are amazing at the mic skills and rep. It is something to see. I cannot wait this Wednesday. What's going to happen with those two before, you know, full gear this Saturday. And yes, it's a whole list of great events going on. FTR against the Young Bucks as well. That should be a, an amazing match. Sammy Guerra against Matt Hardy. Oh, my goodness. Matt Hardy, Lou, has got to retire. And I believe Sammy Guerra has to retire, too. But that is also going to be an amazing match. Just loaded. And, of course, my favorite, my friend, Hikaru Shida. The one and only Hikaru <laughs> Shida <laughs> is going to defend her no title. No more beef with the Hardy. No more against Nyla Rose. And before I end this, sorry, I've been talking too long. I've become a big Hikaru Shida fan. While I was doing this research for this take, guys, she is an amazing wrestler. She is a perfect champion. I am not sucking up to her. <laughs> but yes, Hikaru Shida, amazing. <laughs> Norm, yeah, what well, are you most excited for? Well, as uh, Tom mentioned, uh, the finals of the Eliminator tournament uh, between Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega, uh, two epic superstars, uh, I should say superstars for AEW, not WWE, AEW has superstars quality. Uh, I think um, it's going to be an epic match. Uh, it's going to be back and forth. I think it's probably going to last like a half hour. Uh, Kenny Omega is an international superstar. He's well known in Japan. And Hangman Adam Page, uh, independent uh, legend. Uh, he's been uh, all around the, the, the indie circuit. Uh, one of the most uh, beloved uh, uh, talent all around the indie circuit, a uh, very talented individual and, uh, you know, one of the most hardworking. Uh, it's going to be an epic, epic encounter between those two. They're, they are good friends, uh, former members of the elite. Uh, and, um, yeah, it's going to be exciting to watch that. And uh, we also have FTR and the Young Bucks, yet another uh, classic tilt, uh, maybe uh, a little bit of old school and a little bit of new school uh, with, with the Young Bucks and FTR. FTR, uh, FTR, uh, you know, personifies old school wrestling, uh, classic, classic eighties wrestling, uh, going back to the days of Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson of the horsemen, um, you know, Larry Sabisco, all those, all those, um, legends, uh, personified here in, in 2020 with FTR uh, defending their tag team titles. Uh, we have the main event uh, for, uh, for John Moxley and Eddie Kingston. Very passionate and dramatic match. Yeah, it's going to be very, uh, um, I guess, uh, really 
uh, I, I would probably say hardcore, uh, two hardcore guys, very dramatic, very passionate uh, going through this, this belt. And we also have Cody, Cody Rhodes and Darby Allen uh, for the TNT Championship. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of exciting matches. And, uh, you know, just one of those events that AEW will deliver uh, an epic a clash, uh, you know, for full gear. It's going to be exciting. Awesome. And then, Norbs, we know that Tommy is really excited for Adam Page and Kenny Omega, but, like, which pair, which match are you most excited for? <laughs> I'll probably say Kenny Omega, uh, because you know what, I... He's an international superstar, very beloved in the country of Japan. He's a champion there, beloved uh, individual, uh, like Hall of Fame quality uh, wrestler. And he's Canadian. He's from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, he's well known, throughout the, well known throughout the world. And I do think that Kenny Omega, it is time for him to get a singles championship in his waist. Uh, you know, Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega have been tag team champions for quite some time. But now the page uh, has turned and Kenny Omega will definitely uh, move to the top of the ranking and and vie for a AEW championship title tournament, uh, AEW a title uh, championship win. Wow, how does a wrestler come out of Winnipeg, Manitoba? That's that's the most shocking fact ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Chris Jericho sure. came from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Really? Chris oh Jericho? Mm -hmm. They're two, all two Manitobans. There? That's yep. that's so random. I think that's just so random to me. I feel like Winnipeg <laughs> slash Manitoba is such a random place in Canada. <laughs> Ayatollah of rock and roller, Britt. Winnipeg, of one of the coldest roller. One of the coldest places in Canada, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Great hockey Thanks. town, nonetheless. Chris, come come nonetheless. come come to our come on our podcast for five just so that we uh, you know we can retire the show. That would be we can retire. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're not gonna retire, but that would be that would be gold if he's even watching. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, next up we have Miro scurrying off with Trent of Best Friends this week on Dynamite. Norbs, do you want to talk a bit about that? Uh, yeah, I mean uh, this uh, this feud has uh, just begun between uh, Miro and his uh, uh, friend Kip Sabian. Miro is actually the best man in Kip Sabian's wedding uh, coming up uh, with uh, Penelope Ford, and uh, Miro, uh, you know, when he met his. Uh, AW debut, uh, he he felt his presence known for sure. Um, this feud with uh, Best Friends, um, basically, uh, it's all stemming from uh, the time Best Friends. Uh, that's uh, uh, Chuck and uh, Chuck Taylor and Trent. Um, they when they fought FTR for the uh, tag team titles. Um, uh, uh, one of the uh, best friends, uh, <laughs> uh, they destroyed Kip Sabian's uh, video game outside of uh, outside of oh, the ring while playing goodness. video games. So uh, it caught the attention of Miro. So this uh, this uh, you know ep well it's a it's a feud that's uh, just starting out. Uh, you know again like uh, probably want to be uh, another another good belt uh, coming coming up in uh, this week's Dynamite. Um, yeah, Kip Sabian Mural, exciting talent and uh, best friends, like one of the most popular tag teams in AEW. So uh, another, probably going to be another entertaining uh, match coming up. Cool. Tommy, what do you have to say? Well, hey, you know, it is, oh, I just want to tell the viewers, it is always a joy with these two amazing, lovely people coming on uh, and doing a podcast together. It is awesome. It's it's not I don't feel this is a job. It's just a joy working with you with these two individuals. But I am so disappointed that this is even a topic. Now, so many <laughs> great things coming on full gear and in no way I'm not going to the Hikoro Shida thing again. Miro, Kip Sabian, best of friends, you guys are amazing. Also future Hall of Famers, all of you guys. I think you guys are already written a ticket to the Hall of Fame, all four of you. And I don't want Miro to to bend me in half when he sees me on the streets of Toronto or anywhere. Nothing against them. They are amazing wrestlers. Nothing against them. It is the topic here. Like, we only have a few topics to talk about, and this is what we have to talk about. But, you know what? Still amazing wrestlers keep saving those because I'm not going to knock them. But since we are talking about this topic, I don't know uh, which one of you two wanted to talk about it, but 
nonetheless, it is going to be a great match in itself. Absolutely. Miro, I really love Miro. And I, I think Norms and Brett, you'll both agree with me. Miro, I like this Miro. This is, is AW's using him properly right now. He's this cool, like, brash, like, take no prisoners attitude. I love how he's actually, I think that's his real voice now, right, Norms? He's actually talking his real voice. And he is just, bec- yeah. he, they're showing the charisma that, not blame the McMahon family, but the WWE could not show. And man, is it working ever. The best of friends uh, thing with a feud, perfect. And then you have Kip Sabian, also an amazing wrestler and just a mic extraordinaire on the mic. And best of friends as well. Man, they're amazing wrestlers as well. Great on the mic. I love the thing what they're doing. One of them has his mom coming around, driving them around the, in the car now, now, a couple of times. Amazing. Amazing wrestlers. Great. Yeah. It's going to be a great match. I love it. And, man, there you guys are amazing wrestlers. Nothing on the wrestlers. I just don't know why this is one of the few topics we're talking about right now. Hey, you got to give the people what they want, Tom. You got to give no. the people what they want. There's so <laughs> many more things that I haven't touched John Moxley. <laughs> <laughs> or Orange Cassidy yet. Well, we have a few topics to talk about. And, but, and this is what we're talking about. But, you're, you know, I have to agree with Norms. This is also, Miro is a big up-and-comer. So I'll give you that. Norms, Britt, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, give you guys that. Miro is a big topic. And Kip Sabian and Best of Friends is no joke. So, and who's the manager for um, Miro, guys? Channel before. Channel before. Amazing wrestler as well. So, yeah, it... it Nothing to do with the wrestlers. It's just how we talking about this topic. We have only a few top to top well. But yeah, the wrestlers. It's gonna be a great match. Tommy, amazing don't, be, don't be hating. Don't be hating. I'm Tommy. not hating the no, the wrestlers are amazing. It's gonna be an amazing match. I just with the few topics we have left to talk about on the show, we could have added more. But that's nothing to say against Miro, Kip Sapien, the best of friends Mel before. Amazing wrestlers. Nothing against you guys. You guys are amazing. It's just we have topics. <laughs> could have talked about other than this one but still gonna be a it's a great topic it's gonna be a great match it'll be a great anyways we gotta go like you gotta give go over 20 minutes uh tom (laughs) yeah (laughs) but we have to touch on john moxley oh whatever it's all good (laughs) miro you're awesome since you don't want to talk about this topic anymore (laughs) tommy let's move on (laughs) now we can move on we can move on so we're gonna move on to the tall town hall meeting this past week on Dynamite on MJF, if he should join the inner circle or not. Well, yes, this actually is going to be my favorite upcoming match after, of course, the lovely uh, Karoshida uh, match and, of course, uh, you know, Miro too. But this is going to be my favorite one. Yes, this has been building up, guys. You both have. Uh, know us in the past and all the viewers watching all the big aw wrestling fans this has been building this has been building when mjf was starting in aw and he wanted to you know that thing north with the hey you want to come you want to join uh inner circle mjf do you want to join inner circle? that happened right and then they faded that out and aw to their credit guys have brought it back now so they're good you're talking about the legendary chris jericho up against the up-and-coming legend, MJF. They couldn't have put it better. I love the idea. I'm telling you guys, like I said in the last AW Hot Take, MJF is going to create his circle. I don't think he's going to join the inner circle. I will be shocked if he beats Chris Jericho and joins them. I think he's going to lose to Chris Jericho, get upset, and I think he's going to create his own team. I've said it before, guys. I will bet you both ice caps that is what's going to happen. Exactly. Yep. What's going and, on. Uh, yeah, MJF uh, had his uh, segment with Chris Jericho again uh, last week on, on Dynamite and uh, in a town hall meeting setting when uh, uh, some of the, the AEW talent were asking them questions, uh, asking both Jericho and MJF, uh, you know, what are their intentions of uh, MJF uh, joining the inner circle and what are the benefits uh, if um, MJF joined the inner circle and uh, Chris Jericho uh, rebuttaled, you know, a few times that uh, like, oh, like he doesn't, he doesn't have what it takes to to join the inner circle, and um, really uh, Santana and Sammy Guevara uh, really took, uh, you know, um, they, they don't they don't really want MGF to to join the inner circle just because they've they've already solidified their team, 
So um, yeah, Chris Jericho, MJF, uh, actually they're going to meet up at all at, at uh, full gear. Uh, if MJF wins, then he gets to join the inner circle. Uh, but uh, if uh, he loses, then it's uh, it's no offer. Uh, he's uh, um, he's not going to be able to join the inner circle. So uh, coming up uh, next week on um, Dynamite, uh, there's going to be a tune-up match between uh, MGF and Wardlow against um, Santana and Sammy Guevara, and they and those two will make sure that MGF doesn't make it to full gear. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, what's going to be leading up to the match between Chris Jericho and MJF. Another epic tilt, I would say. Uh, you know, they've been um, two of the most popular uh, stars in AEW, and I think that's, uh, you know, a great um, a great match to watch uh, coming up at Full Gear. Uh, is, is, is it next? It's this week, right, Norm? This week, Dynamite. Uh, and, November's, um, no, yeah. It's, that, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Right. Oh, that's why I wasn't yeah. sure. This, okay. This coming week on Dynamite, yeah. So the, yeah, this this coming week on Dynamite, yeah. They're gonna have a tune-up match. Uh, Santana, Sammy Guevara against um, MGF and Wardlow, a tag team match. And uh, Santana and uh, actually no, it it uh, it's actually Ortiz. My apologies, uh, Ortiz and um, Sammy Guevara uh, against MGF and Wardlow. It's a tune-up match. And uh, Ortiz and Sammy Guevara are going to make sure that uh, um, MGF doesn't make it to... Uh, exactly to what's going to happen. Uh, because they don't want him to oh. join. Yeah, they don't want him to join. That's, gonna that's make, their intention. He's going to make full gear. Come, <laughs> come on, Norbs. <laughs> of course he's not going to make... What would AEW create team be thinking if they made a scene where, like, once again... You can't, you, you're, you're correct, Norbs. You don't know what's going to happen. We never know the unthinkable. But if... MJF doesn't make it. That makes no sense. Like, who's going to take MJF's place? Uh, place yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see. Warlow? Yeah. I mean, we're, uh, no, no, hey, Warlow, another amazing wrestler, but it's better to have MJF in there against Jericho. So, would you, but another situation, would you two agree that I'm calling it, what do you guys think of this, is that MJF's not going to win. It's not going to be Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho's going to win. I'm calling it. MJF's going to create his own inner circle. You guys just 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 admit that that's gonna happen, okay? You two are not are just. We will admit just to entertain you, <laughs> Tommy. Just to entertain you. That'll are, make are it you, too easy, to- Britt. Are you Tony Khan's a new creative uh, director there, Tom? You never know. No, you are, never are, are know. you are you writing on the hey, side for him? <laughs> I I might I might. Tony <laughs> Khan, if you're watching, come on the show. But like, hey, listen, it's gonna it. Basically, that's what I'm thinking right now. It's too easy, guys. It's too easy to think he's just going to join the inner circle. I don't think AEW creative team's too brilliant to make it that simple for the viewers. And most, I guarantee, most viewers know that's not. It's just too easy. I think he's going to create his own inner circle. And man, it would it be amazing? We can always think of different wrestlers to join this inner circle. But that's what's going to happen. Of course, Wardlow is going to be part of it. <laughs> like stuck to his hip, basically. Wardlow and MJF. I feel like you're gonna go on this like MJF crane his uh, own like inner circle theory. For, like, he ever is and ever, the honestly. He is the man, Brit. <laughs> He's the up and comer. This is the guy you must see. Another guy, please, if you want to come on the show, MJF, please do. But it, this, he is the future of AEW. We all know. MJF is the future of AEW. So we'll leave it on that note, and that's a wrap on this week's episode on AEW hot take so that's a wrap on another episode of tea time with tommy the pro wrestling podcast with tommy and norbs so cheers to another episode um with my water and we'll see you guys next time go mjf (laughs) now we have a sponsor us pepsi pepsi better sponsor us norbs take care guys